Did you know that over 60% of engine failures happen because of oil-related mistakes? That's right. Something as simple as believing the wrong oil myths could cost you thousands in repairs or even destroy your engine. Some of these myths have been around for decades, and shady mechanics or dealerships love when you believe them because it means more money in their pockets. But in this video, we're busting the 10 biggest engine oil myths that could be silently killing your car. From outdated advice to total scams, we're setting the record straight. Stick around because at the end of this vid, I will also share you a bonus tip that could save you thousands in repairs. Let's get started. Myth number one, must change your oil every 3,000 miles. It's a common belief that an oil change every 3,000 miles is essential, but this guideline comes from older engine designs and outdated oil formulations. Advances in engine technology and improvements in oil chemistry mean that many modern engines can safely run between 5,000 and 10,000 miles on a single oil change. Manufacturers now design oils, especially synthetics, to withstand higher temperatures and longer operating periods before breaking down. The 3,000 mile rule was set when engines and conventional oils were less efficient and deteriorated more rapidly. Nowadays, the recommended oil change interval is determined by the engine's design, driving conditions, and oil type. Myth number two. Dark oil means it's time to change it. A lot of people see their oil turning dark and immediately panic. Oh no, my oil is dirty. Time for a change. But hold on, dark oil doesn't mean bad oil. In fact, this is actually a sign that your oil is doing its job. Engine oil is supposed to collect dirt, carbon deposits, and contaminants to keep your engine clean. If it stayed clear forever, it wouldn't be working. The real way to know if it's time for an oil change Check the consistency. If it's turned into a thick sludge, has a strong burnt smell, or feels gritty when rubbed between your fingers, then yes, it's time. But if it's just dark, relax, your oil is fine. Myth number three, thicker oil is always better. There's a myth that using thicker, higher viscosity oil provides extra protection for your engine, but this isn't always the case. Engine oil is designed with a specific viscosity to ensure that it flows smoothly through all engine components. Even during cold starts, using oil that is too thick can hinder proper circulation, leading to increased friction and potential wear. In cold conditions, thicker oil may not flow quickly enough to lubricate the engine during the critical moments of startup. Manufacturers carefully test and recommend specific oil viscosities that match the engine's design and operating conditions. Deviating from these recommendations can compromise performance and fuel efficiency. So far, if you found these tips helpful, then don't forget to subscribe this channel. Next move to the next common oil myth. Myth number four, you can't switch between synthetic and conventional oil. Some people believe that once you go synthetic, you can never go back. That's completely false. Your engine doesn't care whether the oil is synthetic or conventional. It only cares about viscosity and quality. Modern synthetic and conventional oils are fully compatible, and switching between them won't harm your engine at all. The only thing that matters is that the oil meets the right specifications for your car. So if someone tells you that switching back to conventional will cause leaks or damage, just laugh, because that's 100% myth. Myth number five, synthetic oil causes leaks. This myth comes from old experiences with early synthetic oils that lacked proper additives. Modern synthetic oils are designed to be fully compatible with engine seals, and they do not cause leaks. What actually happens is that synthetic oil is better at cleaning sludge and debris, which can expose pre-existing leaks that were hidden by built-up deposits. If your engine starts leaking after switching to synthetic, the issue was already there. It's just more noticeable now. Instead of blaming the oil, Inspect your engine for worn out seals or gaskets that need replacement. High mileage synthetic oils even contain seal conditioners to help reduce small leaks. Myth number six, adding oil is the same as changing it. Many car owners think that simply topping off their oil is equivalent to performing an oil change, but this is inaccurate. While adding oil can temporarily restore the proper level, it doesn't remove the contaminated, degraded oil that is already accumulated in the engine. Over time, oil collects dirt, metal particles, and other debris that compromise its lubricating properties. Just because your dipstick shows the correct level doesn't mean your oil is in good condition. A proper oil change involves draining out the old oil, which carries away these harmful contaminants, and replacing it with fresh oil, along with a new oil filter. Myth number seven, 
You don't need to change oil if you don't drive much. Think you can skip oil changes just because your car sits in the garage most of the time? Big mistake. Even if your mileage is low, your oil is still aging. Over time, oil breaks down due to moisture, oxidation, and temperature changes. This means if your car sits for months, the oil inside it could be turning into sludge without you even knowing. That's why manufacturers recommend changing oil at least once a year, even if you haven't hit the mileage limit. Letting old degraded oil sit in your engine is just asking for trouble. Myth number eight, engine oil additives fix any problem. Oil additives are everywhere and they promise to do everything such as stop leaks, boost performance and make your engine last forever. But let's be real, most of them are just snake oil. Modern motor oils already contain advanced additives, detergents, and conditioners to keep your engine in top shape. Pouring in extra chemicals can sometimes disrupt the carefully balanced formula of your oil, reducing its performance instead of improving it. Some additives, like thickening agents, may temporarily quiet engine noise, but can lead to poor lubrication and clogging. If your engine has a problem, the best solution is proper maintenance and high-quality oil, not a bottle of false hope. Myth number nine, more oil means better performance. Overfilling your engine with oil can be just as bad as running low on oil. Excess oil can foam up due to the crankshaft spinning inside it, reducing lubrication efficiency. Foamy oil doesn't flow properly, leading to poor protection and increased wear on engine parts. Too much oil can also put pressure on seals, causing leaks or even damaging gaskets. Always check your owner's manual for the correct oil capacity and avoid overfilling beyond the recommended level on the dipstick. If you accidentally overfill, draining the excess immediately is crucial to prevent engine damage. Myth number 10, all engine oils are the same. There is a myth that you can use any type of oil for your engine. That's false. Not all oils are created equal. Different oils have different viscosities, additives, and formulations designed for specific engines. Using the wrong type of oil can reduce fuel efficiency, increase wear, and even void your vehicle's warranty. Some oils are formulated for high-performance turbocharged engines, while others are designed for older engines with worn seals. Diesel engines also require special oil with higher detergent levels compared to gasoline engines. Always check your owner's manual and look for the API certification to ensure you're using the right oil for your car. Here's a game-changing tip that I promised. Don't immediately rev your cold engine, especially in cold weather. That's because when your car sits overnight, all the oil drains back into the oil pan, leaving dry metal-on-metal -metal contact when you start it in the morning. Reviving the cold engine forces the dry parts to work under extreme stress, which leads to faster wear and even permanent failure. Instead, always let your engine run for at least 30 to 60 seconds before driving. That's all for this video. So how many of these engine oil myths have you believed? Let me know in the comments. If this video saved you from an oil change disaster, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to fuel up the confidence. Drive safe and see you in the next video.